Yeah, screw le legendary Pokemon. I want my dark type and flying types. I really actually have I have zero interest in legendary Pokemon. They're an interesting concept, but it's one of those where it's like I'm not gonna say that they don't stand out, but they they just kind of invalidate too much and it doesn't feel good. Okay, so I now have my dragon mail. Whoops. Oh, that was just my torches. I don't need them. And I can put away the old wrecking balls at this point. And all that spare clodstone. And the schnitzel. Why did I do that? Can I even... Will this give me anything? Oh. It really does just lead you to the nearest. Somewhere very far away. Yeah, go figure. Okay, so we need one more golden ingot, and then I can make... Oh, there it is. And I can make the dragon slaying sword. Dragon's Bane. And then I need Zenithium. Okay, well, I don't know where to get Zenithium, so we're going to leave that for later. I could make a bunch of these and just hand them out to my teammates. Probably not. If it's got a star... Okay. Well, anyway, that chest is pointless. Next order of business is... Let's check... What looks better? Full Dragon, Towel Boy, or Sweet Bunny Boy? The rest of this stuff ain't great. I'm so glad we can move away, away from this outfit. Because I don't look like... I, I really don't like... Uh, like looking like some weird discount cowboy situation. The turtle boy was fun, but we got that for too long. People are saying sexy boy or towel boy. Let's go sexy boy for a little while longer. We'll switch to towel probably before the end of the chapter, maybe. I am unsure. Where do you go to get the dragon recipe? There's two dragon monsters. Uh there's two dragon monsters on the map that you can that you can kill. You just gotta go find them. One gives you the dragon armor recipe and the other gives you the dragon sword recipe. Uh They're both on the overworld too, by the way. There's like no food around here, which is a problem. Hey, Vac, how's how's life? How's the new house? Cause I've I've barely kind of communicated with you about that. Yep. Oh, let's see. We can put the doors away. We can put these away. Everything is good. Nope. There we go. A lot of people are telling me I need to check out this game. Uh, now that your gaming PC is fighting the eternal fight in the afterlife, dude, you would like it. Uh. If, if you're a big fan of stuff like, well, I mean, obviously Graveyard Keeper, uh, this is going to be eh, similar-ish, kind of different. This is a little bit more linear, but it, it has a lot of the fun town management and, like, RPG elements. That you might enjoy? I don't know. I, I'm personally a massive fan of the Dragon Quest Builder series. They're just so charming and, like, joyful. And it does a lot of the... It does a lot of the stuff that, like... Where's that coming from? Oh! That's actually somewhere completely different. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's run down this tunnel. Somewhere nearby. Maybe on the other side of this? Okay, it wants to be right there. I'm gonna go this way. Let's see. It looks gorgeous, to be honest. Yeah! Yeah, it's a- Wow! Hi! We're already here. Bombs for days! 
a strip gold glittering beautiful gold it's gold it's gold we found it get in here you gaggling dribbling drivies we got a we got gold to mine damn wonder when did you become a 49er uh somewhere around when i moved to california and went on like an insane amount of of gold rush related uh Tourist activities and school trips and a bunch of other things. Anyway, nice one, dude. I'm looking forward to the next evening report even more now. Exciting times, eh? Okay, well. We... Organization had a blast on this game. They really did. Admittedly, I'm getting mostly guff, but some of this is good. And in fact, if you play this, you might actually know what the accents are supposed to sound like, because I certainly don't. I've just been making it up as I go along. For the most part, I think they're usually in, like, various English variants. Look at this. Mm, maybe? A decent spot for it. I have to farm more of these bombs one way or another. I mean, luckily, once we get, like, X number of these veins going... We'll be okay. Uh, let's see. Alright. Back to the flute. Okay. So if I play this again, it's probably going to lead me back to that chamber. Yeah. Definitely going to lead me back to that chamber. We're going to just run through this and play it every once in a while. Yep, same spot. Oh, I should probably actually switch my sword's cosmetic over to the dragon's bane. Because it is by far... Wait. Hold on. That said somewhere near a... nearby. Hold up. I'm not sure if this is, if it's just bringing me back to the same one or if there's a secondary chamber. I mean, luckily I can just, I really can just flatten whole swaths of this, this map in like no time at all. See, isn't there a vein near the Shroom Cave? Yeah. Okay, so nearby is, the one that I came from. I really wish there was a way to, like, cook all these spare blocks into something more useful. It'd be nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back to playing the flute at regular intervals and we'll see if it, uh, picks up something new. Because, yes. That's uh, probably still the same one. Yeah. There's absolutely uh, a vein near the mushroom caves, but there's several other the several others that are just hidden. Yeah, it's still bringing me the same one. Uh, let's see, but I figure I might as well just look at all of it. Cute outfit. Thank you. I like to wear my best when I'm down in the mines with the boys. That sounds weird as shit. Oh. I guess I never went down this branch. 
Okay, so we do actually have something down this way. This is probably pretty close to Mushroom Cave, isn't it? I don't know, one way or another... Oh, was there a Metal Slime? I should double check, but it's probably bailed by this point. Oh no, there it is. Nope, that's... that's a hammer. the other reason why uh, I, I'm kind of down for wearing this outfit specifically is uh, it it always felt kind of creepy that you like all of the women were just wearing like weird bunny clothing and so it feels at least mildly better uh, that the protagonist can also wear bunny clothing okay so uh, how's the performance on this Switch versus PS4? I would get it on the PS4, probably. I was wondering what was down over here. Uh, the Switch has more performance problems than the PS4 does. Uh, wow, that's immediate. Storm Blimey and a beekeeper's bought it! We're only got and stumbled on a vein of gold! We struck gold, lads! Get in here and put, put them picks to work! Uh, let's see. But yeah, I would recommend getting this on, on PS4 personally, but if you prefer the Switch, it's not going to be that much worse. It's just going to be slightly worse. But it's not bad. Anyway. i never seen so much sparkly stuff in my life. You're not going to want to miss the next evening report. Looks like you found the last of the gold veins for now. Once we've got enough gold to turn Goldie Rocks back to a gold golem, Grumbledon will be bleeding. Or will be bleeding. We'll be heading for a second golden age. I never thought I'd say this, dude, but we did it. Mission accomplished. Let's get back up top and share the good news with the others. And at this point, I got 120-something gold sitting around in my inventory. That's probably enough for uh, a small amount of egregious gameplay and tiling. We might actually want to make uh, we might want to just make the whole town into gold and just like laugh about it before we leave. That'd be fun. Can't wait for the DLC for this. Is there going to be DLC? Because if there is, I'm really excited for that. Because, like, I I can never say no to more. I was a little bit disappointed that uh, Dragon Quest Builders 1 didn't have more. But, like, they could totally, absolutely just, like, sell extra story-based uh, islands uh, periodically for, like, 10 bucks, And I'd buy every single one of them. So, four DLC, two on July 26th already. Dang! Uh... Is it like major stuff or is the stuff on July 26th more just kind of minor, minor bits? My, my contact at Square Enix sends me the games, but she doesn't tell me anything about any of the like DLC or anything like that. Admittedly in this case she sent me a bum code, but eh, it wasn't that big of a deal. I got it in the end, but it was just like, well, I already bought the game so that I could actually cover it without having to wait, so... Uh, a spare copy to give to Moose and Joe, I guess. Which begs the question how the FTC guidelines are supposed to work with that. I don't know. They're confusing anyway. Yeah, there's DLC, but for uh, 20 bucks you get the season pass. Yeah, I already got the deluxe edition. I figured I might as well. I, I actually will often get the deluxe edition for games that I'm really excited about. 
Uh, I know you're not supposed to do that, sort of, but like, for me, I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm down for it. If it's game I don't, don't think I'm gonna like, I don't, don't bother with the season pass. I think a lot of Ubisoft games I won't get the season pass for, just because I'm probably never even gonna get to the season pass content, let alone what's in there. I heard good things about the Atlantis DLC. I said I wasn't going to mine all this, and I'm doing it anyway. So I want to get into this game in the first Dragon Quest Builders. I'd like to know if it's procedurally generated or if it's static. A uh, bit of both. Mostly static. The only procedural generation is actually on the exploration aisles, which you go to for extra resources. Uh, and even then, you only go to those uh, very, very rarely. So, uh, it's it's pretty hand design. So, I guess that technically does impact replayability. But this game is already like, I'm going to say I'm probably going to sink upwards of 100 hours into this game. Uh, based on my streams. I mean, when did it come out again? Was it last week? It was sometime last week. I'm losing all sense of time. Uh, and I've played it for like easily four or five hours a day, every day, since. And I'm still only in chapter two. Was it last? Was it only last Thursday, the twelfth? Okay, so it's only been out for six days. I put thirty something hours into this probably, and uh, I've only just. Like, we're probably getting to the ending-ish of Chapter 2 fairly soon. Maybe. I'm just gonna start punching through some of these as shortcuts. Let's see. But, I'm not actually sure how many uh, story islands we have in this game. It looks like, judging by the main map, we only have three, but there's probably more. This chapter seemed a bit shorter, didn't it? Sort of? It felt like there's... Let's see, this is probably gonna tell me... about the one in the mushroom caves, yeah? No, that's a new one. Somewhere far away. Oh, wait, no, no, that is the one in the mushroom caves. Oh, let's see. You're on the third major island yourself. Not sure how much of the game is left. Third island is so much fun. Okay, so it's still telling me about mushrooms. Okay. Mushroom room, the old lift, southeast tunnel. got to be more than this. Maybe not. Well, time to start sequence breaking really freaking hard. What happens if I go this way? Let's see. Finish the second island. Come back to complete the infinite wood checklist. Those are absolutely worth it, by the way. Like, infinite wood, infinite grass, infinite gourd. It doesn't even take that long to go get those little checklists. And they save me so much time. Okay, cannot sequence break any further than this. This is hard bedrock. Okay. There's an area over here that apparently I've seen. Oh... Uh, in that river area. Well, we already got what I needed, so let's go back here. We should have the go we should have enough golden blocks that I can make the bits that I need. There's a lot of just hearts pooping out of everybody right now. Okay. Oh. 
You coming down, dude? You've really excelled yourself this time, dude. You found the gold we needed. Ah, gold. Once the gold rush ended, I gave up on ever seeing the most me that most mesmerizing of metals again. But if we can turn Goldie Rocks back into a gold golem, Grumbledon might have its second coming. Now we've secured these gold veins, the miners should start bringing more of it up. It seems Goldie Rocks' wish may come true after all. You're actually glad to hear it's mostly static. Pretty unique considering what type of game it is. Yeah, I personally prefer it because it means it's a, like a, it's a hand-designed, well-made experience. It does mean it can be a little bit linear, uh, as far as I'm concerned, but eh. Uh, let's see, so I can make golden tiles, but what I need are these. Uh, it's a hand design experience, and it means, like, you're not just wandering around in kind of these... Uh, how would I describe them? Wait, where am I supposed to get the, uh, the lantern blocks that I'm missing? Because... Huh. Am I supposed to go rip them out of the other area? Okay. 74 nuggets? Wow. All right, I don't have to go out of, out of my way for that. You don't unlock the lantern blocks for a bit. Huh. Oh, maybe we just gotta do some more quests. I'll probably do the trick. Oh, wow. What's up? You know what, dude? You've been grinning like a loony ever since you found that gold. That's all well and good, but we ain't out of the woods yet. We need a few more bodies to get all the gold Goldie Rocks need. Uh, bodies to get all the gold Goldie Rocks need to power himself up. But it seems to me like the perfect time for you to ring that bell and bring some more faces into the crumble down fold. If anyone needs help around town, go and help him. Just make sure you ring that bell sooner than later. We've got important work to be cracking on with. it would be an amazing, you know that. You've inspired us to help with the building and brought new miners, barmen, and dancing girls into the Crumbledon family. I've got a funny feeling the day this place is a bustling mining town again is only just around the corner. And when that happens, the bar will be packed to the rafters after every night. I don't know if I've told you, but I've always dreamed of running a chain of busy, bustling bars, and thanks to you, that dream is on the brink of becoming a reality. Couldn't have done it without you, dude. Or the rest of the lads. Oh, my dear darling Babs. Call me a doting old fogey of a father, if you will. Without her, Crumble Dunn's revival wouldn't even have got off the ground, let alone come this far. That girls me pride and joy. She's the real treasure uh, treasure of Crumble Dunn. And now everybody's in the shower. Well, dude, you found the gold we required and construction work on the swimming pool seems to be going along or going, well, swimmingly. It's just one small matter that's been playing on my mind, or should I say my nose? It's the smell. These muscle-bound miners reek to, the high, reek to high heaven. I ask you, no, I beg, I plead, I pray, please renovate our shower room. Firstly, we'll need to increase the number of showers to four. That should suffice. To accommodate the extra bodies, we'll require more towel rails, folding screens, and light sources. With each to be precise. Finally, I was thinking we should incorporate lots of connecting windows into the walls. I'm sure you can put together an absolutely enormous window if you put your mind to it, dude. Impress me. Why do you want windows in the shower room walls, you ask? D don't ask questions of your client. It's exceedingly bad manners. Just make the scenic shower room like I asked. Hmm. I might want to make a completely different shower room. Ever since we found them gold deposits, you've been looking a lot chirpier. Uh, chirper. I don't know. Maybe chirpier? Now, I don't mean to bu burst your uh, bubble, but if we're going to be bringing in more miners, the dorm you made us ain't going to fit for purpose no more. I can't be having the lads sleep on the floor now, can I? Bad for morale. That's why I want you to make a new one. I want you to make it over by the silver bar. It's going to need an inside, on the wall, eight beds, a trio of pots, just like a current place. By this time, I want it to be proper opulent, so make the walls and floor all posh and chuck some swanky furniture in there. Enough for a three-star fanciness level. 
You're free to choose the materials yourself, of course. But I go for some golden braziers and silver brick blocks. You know, the good stuff. You'll have to make the gaff a bit more spacious to fit all the gorgeous gubbin, grubbins or gubbins in. It won't be quite as cozy as the old place, but that's a small sacrifice to make. Why me, dude? The new dorm's bleeding gorgeous. When the new lads come, I'm sure they'll feel right at home. I can't even... It, it can't have been easy making such a posh pad. But the boys will know their appreciation in buckets. Or show their appreciation in buckets. I guarantee it. You know, the more miners that move into town, the more this place is starting to feel like they're all crumble done. But the more miners also means more rivals for Babs' affections. Uh, but I won't give up without a fight. I'll deck every last one of them these mugs before I let them take me Babs away from me. Woo! Light box, finally. I think that should be the last thing I need. Well, I guess let's get the, the braziers down. Let's see. Do we only need two? Yeah, golden braziers and the light boxes. Wow. Yeah, we are almost done with this thing. Oh, man. Whenever I'm reading Digby and Dougie's voices out, I, I really do actually end up feeling pretty lightheaded. Okay, so where are the other two golden braziers? Oh, in the back. No, why? Where I was aiming at all. Or where I meant to aim. Holy crap, these people are in line for a shower. All right. Oh, well, is this still town? Okay, so right here. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna make the new shower out here. I might even tear up the old shower, honestly. Also love the, that, uh, Sergei's, is it Sergei? I think that's I think that's the guy's name. Uh, he is Loki, just trying to uh, to peep in on on all of the uh, all the minor dudes. That's adorable. I like how big the base is on this chapter. I love the fact that it's actually an atypical um, arrangement. That it's not just a uh, it's not just a, a square, but it's actually like two areas connected. That goes a long way to making a, a town feel better. Admittedly, it's only two, but like, it's still cool. Okay, so where'd, where'd my stairs go? I need way more of these. Ah! I'll do that for now. Okay, next up. Let's see. We might want to get multiple of these furnaces going on gold. I'm glad cancelling all that does not screw screw anything over. Okay, let's put these away. The spare clodstone away. Okay, and we want to build... Oh, 256 gold. That's going to take forever. We call Sergei effeminate. I wouldn't say he's effeminate, but he's... Definitely got wandering eyes for some digger men. And I can't judge him for that. So what do we want to do? We need, we, need, we need windows. Right. We need 18 of these. Let's start with that. And that's the extent of what I can make. Wow, that's a convenient amount. Let's see, he called himself effeminate. Did he? He certainly said that he wasn't nearly as uh, masculine as everybody else. I don't remember if he said he was effeminate or not. Oh, that's that's a cool looking sword. I love I love katars like uh, fist swords and whatever, the ones where you're not holding it by handle. It's a cool look. Okay, uh, let's see. So I've got a silly amount of silver block. This is so convenient.
Oh, I know exactly what I'm going to do with this, this thing. Okay, so we did need to build... Uh, how many windows do I have? I'm gonna add another... A lot. Uh, let's see. Do 155. We're gonna need a whole bunch. And we need these. I'm just gonna make 100. Makes it easy. Honestly, I'm just going to make an egregious amount of boogie boards. There's a very distinct reason, and I hope this works. But if it doesn't work, I'm not going to be that disappointed. I'm going to be mildly disappointed, but that's okay. All right, so first and foremost, let's grab our windows. All right. Okay, so this doesn't quite work the way I want it, I want it to. That's probably for the best. Because I wanted it to work real weird. Eh. Let's just get the frames back here. Oh, damn it. Okay. Is this gonna work? Oh. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. This should be big enough. Oh, I totally forgot to make the showers. We're gonna go back and make some more of those. I am making mistakes left and right. Anyway, this is, this is fine. Yeah, no window corner pieces, sadly. One of your pet peeves in this game. Yeah. I, I'll give them credit. There's a huge amount of block variety in here. There are, there are a couple of missing blocks, and their absence is notable. Okay, so I'm going to make like 20 of these. I don't really know where to put them all, but this will be fine. Oh boy, wow. There's... I might need to make another dormitory. Or three. Uh, let's see. So we need a door. We still had doors, yeah? Okay, so where's the where's the vague center of this? Probably right there. Stole them from somewhere. I'll have to use it for reasons. Okay. Now shower. 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 Shower, shower, shower. Oh wait, I screwed that up. I'm absolutely starving. Do I actually, do I actually start taking damage? Not actually sure about that. Okay. What? No. Ah. I didn't realize my own my own personal placement uh, placement would matter. Uh, but that's okay. Let's get these down. Technically, there's nothing here, but in the off chance that I do put something there, I'm gonna I'm just gonna put a window there. Up, Malroth. How do you how do you like my crimes against humanity? Okay. Now, obviously, these people deserve at least a smidge of privacy, for obvious reasons. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? We might want to move the. Uh... 
the entrance out a, a bit. Yeah, we do. I'm gonna move it down just by like one layer. Ah, oh, these these pillars actually take some hits to take out. Anyway, we need a little bit more room because we need some light sources up in here. Okay, so we're just gonna move it down by move it down by two. Just give them some room. Maybe maybe I'll put some like I don't know decorations up and around. I just there's no reason why I need to make it small. Oh, let's see, right there. That that seems reasonable. Move it, o move it over maybe by one, and it'd be like more centered. I think it's an odd. Odd number length. And that's okay. I guess I could actually have two doors. No, but that wouldn't work with the pillars. Eh, it'll do. Wander, I need to need you to build out my nightmares. I mean This is somebody's nightmare. The bathroom, the, the shower room with nothing but windows. Absolutely voyeuristic, 100%. And at some point I'll reskin re the whole thing with gold once I have enough gold to, to do so. Probably. Unless I get bored of the chapter first. Admittedly, the tile really does, does look pretty showery. Okay, anyway. Do you know how I made all these boogie boards? I don't know if this is gonna work. We, do, we need my gloves for this. Okay. God, I hope this works. I... I... I don't know. Okay, uh, let's see. So now we gotta go get some light sources. Um, yeah, that's, that is honestly a, a very normal reaction to what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> All right, we needed towel, towel bars. Uh, wait, no, I have these. Uh, let's, let's gather some of the gold. I know they asked for a scenic shower room, but I don't think this is what they had in mind. I mean, considering Sergei asked for lots of windows, I think this is 100%. I'm just adding extra scenery for the sake of it. Wow, these things are expensive. Okay, so we can't fit any more of these. Boogie boards, we'll figure out later. Okay, so I need... I need my towel racks and my uh, my golden braziers. If only this had sexy night lights. I know. I'm a little disappointed. The scenic shower room is absolutely, is simply stunning. Thank you, dude. With the additional shower heads, our muscular friends won't have to wait an eternity to rid themselves of their musk. Pardon, why does a shower room need windows, you ask? 
Honestly, dude, did nobody ever tell you that curiosity killed the cat? However, I think I shall give you an honest answer this time. You see the miners spend all day cramped in the cramped confines of the tunnels, and all night cooped up in that dingy pub. I thought that if we were to provide the residents of Crumbledown with an airy, open shower, it would only be beneficial to their spiritual well-being. Let me make you make one thing absolutely clear. I asked you to make that shower room with only the purest of intentions. That means any depraved thoughts are solely the product of your depraved mind, not mine. <laughs> I accept no responsibility for the horrors that I've wrought upon everyone. I'll make it a bit taller. What is this guy doing? He's just hanging out. Why? Oh, God. Dang it. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well... Okay, so I can't make the windows any any taller. That's probably fine. I'm just gonna edge this off. I really wish the uh, the windows were a little smarter with how they laid down, but you know what? Whatever. I'm j I'm just gonna ring the whole thing in silver, and we'll go from there. This is one where first person placing mode comes in handy. You know, that's actually a really good point. But it's fine. I mean, this this absolutely, absolutely does what it needs to do. <laughs> we even make weird noises. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Well, let's just finish off this, uh... Oh. I guess that's just an iron... Uh... That's just an iron block there for reasons. Let's see, what have you just stumbled into? Magic. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Truly, though... It, it is, it is Ser Sergei's, uh, idea. I just followed through to the best of my ability, which happens to be damn good. Whoops. We're almost done. Okay, so where does this last one go? What am I missing? Oh, the one over here. Bang! Pure lust is still pure. <laughs> We've built the silver bar. Dude! You finally finished the silver bar? I've got to say, the place looks absolutely stunning. Thanks a bunch. Does my dad know yet? I can't wait to see the look on his face when he sees the new gaff in all his glory. Okay, so the mine even more metal now. 